Alright, hello. I'm going to show you how to use enable plus remove the uh, acceptor socket thing as well as the windows firewall which is pretty self explanatory you go to the control panel I have it as that if you run windows 7 it should be like this so you go to uh, system and security windows firewall you turn off your firewall right there just for now don't leave it don't leave it off turn it back on once you're done using clean Okay, so I already have it turned off. So let me get back to my desktop now. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this thing's a little hard to work with. First time using it. Okay, now that that's there. Next thing. Okay, and I'm doing this because I've seen a lot of videos, but they just never seem to be full on about everything so first thing is well computer driving hold okay what is going on with computers like breaking out okay just ignore that apparently my window screen has been it's just a lot first thing you want to go is hold the computer and sniffer make sure that it's not this one it's not the one that says zero 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 for both the IP and the subnet. Make sure it's the uh, one that has your has an IP address and the subnet address. Hit apply, hit OK, right click this area, scan MAC address. Oh I'm sorry. You uh click this little thing right here to start stop sniffer. Nice now. Okay. Neither of my Xboxes are turned on, so what you're going to want to do is, well, let me just turn on my Xbox real quick. Alright, my Xbox is now moving up. Can you hear that? I have laptop mic, so if the, uh, Sound quality is not so good. I believe my brother just got on. Because I have two headphones connected. I'm just going to try to read this. I think I got a log in. Okay, well, I'm just going to connect my brother's because you took my charger right now and something else. But you forgot it. So, I have to do all that. You won't click in this little box. Press that. You click your router IP for the first one. Oh my god. Yeah, you click, like, you click your router one. What my router is a Netgear brand, so yeah. Then you, then you uh, click, you click that. You click the big Microsoft. So I'm going to be doing, just remember the last number, that's what I did. Just remember, just remember 0.1, 0.4. With that, click on it. You don't have to click on it, but that's what I do. Start, stop, APR. Oh, I'm just our view. I forgot. Oh, and it's freaking out again. Okay. Okay, that's just something else. Okay, anyway. Go to fix that little problem that just said, put in the set part. part of See, yeah, I my HTTPS off. And you gotta change that to 450. Apply. I have to do it every time I log out. But anyway, go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Firewall. I have Advanced Settings. Not allow a program for a feature to. Uh, I'm not seeing all of them now. Uh, we can't try again. Okay, I had to pause my video so I can uh, think for a minute. Okay, anyway. You do hit advanced settings. And then this should pop up. 
go to inbound rules. Oh, okay, there we go. See, I made one called HTTPS. I'll delete it for you guys. New rule. Okay, warrant report. Uh, t make sure it's TCP and the uh, specific port is 450. Yeah. You do not click neither of these two, click this one. Allow the connection. Next. Uncheck these two. Next. That both of these are optional. Or this one, you name it HTTPS. That is optional. I just don't need to put nothing in that. That's how you do that. And close that up. Let's get back to the game. Okay, it's one, four. Let me just make sure. Remember filters and ports. Change TC. Yours should be 443. Change it to 450. Apply it and do not check it. Keep it on check. Now, as you can see, that did not happen. That does not show the stupid goodness of things. Now, my brother. Is probably not in a party with anybody or in a game. He's probably just sitting at the dash or this is what he does in the morning. So, there's no one there. That is just a, uh, anything that's 66.55 is usually a, just something with Microsoft. Nothing to do with it. But, a certain site that I use is a, uh, I search up, I search up their IPs on this site. Sorry, my brother was in my room, a place where he should not be. Okay, I go to whatismyipaddress.com. No. I yes I have to <laughs> I type in the IP and then okay the thing is it gives this lookup tool gives a ninety nine percent country, ninety percent state, and a region of a twenty five mile radius of eighty one percent. So I'm just gonna look up mine. Yes, you can come to my fucking house in Stockholm. I do live there. United States, I do live in the United States, that is probably not right, I don't know if those 757 is right, that is most definitely right, that is most definitely right, I believe dynamic, I'm not too sure, so don't comment that I'm an idiot, uh, that dynamic just means that, it just means that your IP changes. Every, I know my IP changes, my IP Xbox changes every time I turn it off and on, so yeah, I guess it does. So I guess that's what it pretty much is. But you're not going for their, you're, when you use Canon Eagle, you're not going for their Xbox IP. You're going for their actual router IP. And then, okay. I'm not going to show you how to boot because I, I currently do not have a booter. I use the booter, which is very free. I have tested it on my friend's IP, it very so does work, although the booter usually only boots him out of the party and the game. As for IP stressor, the trial, it keeps telling me too much bandwidth. I put in 10 millibytes per second and it does it really slow, but it knocks him off one. So that works, but I'm hoping to invest in do a one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's yeah, I mean, they're pretty cheap booters, so. Yeah, just see y'all later. I hope my video helped, and I'll put all the links in and stuff by YouTube.